Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Heroes Chronicles. This is Warlords of the Wasteland, and we are on episode 14, I believe it is. We're about to start the Siege of the Wall Peaks. And in this scenario, Tarnum must somehow battle his way through this heavily fortified region, defeating all the castle before, or sorry, all the castles before he can continue onward. Don't lose Tarnum, all heroes are limited to level 21, and the two strongest heroes will follow Tarnum to the next map. We can start with uh, 15 orc chieftains, or a bonus to one spell power. We are goblins, or orcs, or whatever we are. Uh, we don't need no stinking magic. The difficulty is normal. I'm going to continue through this first Warlords of the Wasteland, uh, the first Heroes Chronicles, on normal. I will upgrade the difficulty in the next one, and we'll see. Hopefully it's still I'm still rocking solid and we're able to do it. But for the rest of this one, so the next four campaigns... You know what? It's halfway through, right? We're at the halfway mark. Let's go for the upper difficulty. I'm going to go to hard difficulty. The player and the computer start with the same resources and the computer plays to the best of its ability. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to give that a shot. A vast mountain range called the Wall Peaks separated the barbarian steppes from the Empire of Bracadoon. So the wizards built a castle in every pass to keep their lands safe from invasion. They boasted that no army could cross the Wall Peaks. Tarnum set out to prove them wrong. Indeed. All right, sweet. So, your shaman wakes you. I've had a dream, my king, a dream of your death, killed by our enemy in yonder mountains. You ask, is this a prophecy or just a dream? Yes, my king, a prophecy, says the shaman. But it can be avoided. You must assemble a powerful artifact, the Titan's Thunder. With its power at your command, even the massive armies of your enemy can't stand against you. Alright, sweet. We're going to go in here to options, and... I'm going to, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to alt-tab here for a second. I apologize. I know it's going to kind of mess with everything just a little bit. But, I actually need to lower the volume. I feel like the game's just a little bit too loud, so my apologies. I thought I had already done this before, but apparently not. There we go, no problems whatsoever. We're back in, everything is good to go. Sort of. It's kind of, well, it's fine. All right, so we are on a new map. Let's begin our little endeavors here. We have three heroes able to do hero type things. One of which, of course, is Tarnum, the immortal hero. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Orc Tower, mostly because I want to, but also because it's our only option right now, our only real option, as it were. And we are going to have to remember how to play this, because I am quite bad at this... No, it's fine. It's been a while since we've endeavored into a... What would the word be? Into a Heroes 3-esque game. So, be aware of that. Um, would like to do battle, if possible, but I also need to get the stone things online as quickly as possible. There we go. Stone and other various things. Lots of lizards. Eh. We can probably take care of them. Yeah, let's give it a shot. They want to run from us, so that's a good sign. Yes, thank you for telling me how tactics work. I would have never figured it out on my own. <clears throat> yeah, right. Sure, that. Okay, and with that, we should be able to start a combat, and we can't quite reach you yet, but with a level in haste, hmm, I feel like hasting him might be the better play. Could be wrong, though. Actually, I don't think I was. Alright, so we're going to come over here, we're going to try to maul you, and we did okay. Fairly decent shot there, and a kill. Eh, we lost two guys, that's not bad. Could have been a lot worse. What is this? A behemoth crag? Yeah, we're not quite ready for that one yet. Okay, then we're going to come over here and be like, Oh, look, there's stuff right there. We're going to pick that up. And then we're going to come back over here and be like, Yeah, let's see. What are we going to get? We're going to get some lizards, because why not? We're going to move you down to the end over here. Get ourselves the Null Hut and the old lizard nun. And from here... I 
want to go to the scenario information. The two strongest heroes in Tarnum will follow Tarnum. Okay, so that's what I wanted to know. All right, so basically these three are what we're set with for now. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Free uh, wood thing. We didn't have to fight anybody for it. That's impressive. It's a rare and beautiful thing, folks. We will take it and we will enjoy it. Oh, this is random stuff laying around, huh? Not quite ready to go and fight anyone just yet. I will, however, gather up some more troops. And I would like to eventually meet up with our boy and get everything going. Alright, let's end the turn. A visit to a local witch proves useful. Not only does she cure the warts on your hand, sweet, but she also tells you how to assemble the Titan's Thunder. Find four artifacts, the Titan's Gladius, the Titan's Cuirass, the Titan and the Thunder Helmet, and of course the Sentinel Shield. With these you will possess power beyond your dreams. Seek the Hut of the Magi and he'll point the way. Creepy, but also fun. There's a Seer's Hut. You hear, you hear right, I do have the Thunder Helmet, and no, I will not sell it. We'll have to take it from my cold, dead fingers, or you could trade me something for it. Say the Hellstorm Helmet? That would be a pretty good swap. Okay, sure. Alright, we're going to take that, we're going to head back up here, and we're going to hopefully meet up with our boy and get a, a swapping of uh, different things. Come back up here since we're returning anyway. Might as well go ahead and get ourselves the Serpent Flies. And there they are, and our army is larger than it once was. We'll head out this way, and wouldn't you know it, there's a thing here just for us. Once again, with no battles needing to be done. Alright, we're going to come over here. We will gather up the Wood Cutter's Hut, or whatever it's called. Is that actually what it's called? Sawmill. We'll gather up the sawmill, and it will be sweet, sweet, nice style. But before we leave, we are not done yet. We still have this to do. The cliff nest is going to be pretty good. But after that, we're going to probably have to start working on getting more... Oh, I don't know, more in the way of actual troops than what we're doing right now. Or, sorry, actual money than the troops that we're doing right now. So is that. We're going to meet up with you. You're going to give us your multiple doggies. And we're going to trade you back one of these guys just so you have an army. And that is that. Now, good sir, you, Mr. Tyraxor, are going to come up here and be like, hey, what are these? I want those. Thank you. And we're going to build a marketplace. And then we're going to come back and be like, hey, how about I also give you some birds? Sweet, we'll take the birds. I know they have very weird and kind of over-the-top dialogue, but they do. You know, it works for them. It's what they like. It's it's fine. All right, Tarns, what are you doing, buddy? A pack of orcs, are they going to join us? They are what? Thank you. And what are we going to do now? We're going to head back over here, and we're going to deal with these guys. The hobgobs are going to be like, hey, maybe we should join them. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little worried. Maybe joining them's not the play. We go up against lots of null marauders. I think that's going to be the play. Let's do it. Hey, they want to join us too. Sweet. We'll take it. All right, what do we have? This town. Hmm. Well, let's start with the mage guild for you, I guess. And we'll end the turn. And we will not be able to go forward with the space bar. That's okay. Hey, Hobgoblins wanted to join us. Sweet. And we'll go ahead and grab this up. We'll come down here and snag this. And then what else do we have? We have some sulfur here. We have some more gnolls that will join our wonderful, wonderful cause. We'll come over here and miss out on that for this turn. I guess we can get some more experience. And gather up some more gold if we're lucky. We can do some exploratory things still. We're not completely out of this yet. We're bound to be able to find a few more things. Hey, that's completely undefended as well. Nice. Alright, let's go here. Marketplace for you this time around. I'm going to switch over to the other city or town, as it were. 
Um, blacksmith, we'll do the Mage Guild next, and then the City Hall upgrade. Ending our turn. Gathering up this, gathering up the goblins, and going to face off against the Wolf Riders. Hmm. They move pretty far, but not, like, absurdly far, so... We'll move some of our crew up a bit, but not, like, over the top forward motion. I think that should be fine, unless I miscalculated, in which case, oh well. It's difficult to do sometimes. Alright, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Just kinda wait spam all the way across the board. They're waiting too, apparently. So, I guess we'll just kill them, because of reasons. And Hobgoblins say good day. All right, so there we go. We have victorious in our endeavor there. Stable Master, pack of gold golems probably can handle it. Let's go for it. They are afraid of us. That's a good sign. Now the gold golems move a little bit further than the iron and the stone, but I don't think so far as to really ruin our chances of murder. So, that being said, I think we can move like here and here, and we should all be fine. Gonna wait spam, they're gonna waddle on forward, we're gonna be able to lay into them with a fairly sizable chunk of damage. I'm gonna wait with you. I'm gonna blast you. Eh. Let's go for it. 30 of them. No, nope, wasn't enough. That's sad. We don't have a way of resurrecting them, do we? Nope. Oh well. Mistakes were made. I thought maybe we had enough oomph. We didn't. Darn. Alright, we would like to recruit. Thank you. Uh, hindsight being what it is, or not even hindsight, just if I was not stupid there, what I could have done was just waited to the next turn and then use my range units, which act first, and uh, killed them. But I didn't do that. Because bad Bumpy is bad. We know this. This is the thing that we know. Pack of ogres. Ooh, it's actually a larger pack than I thought. Alright, let's see. Eh, guess we can move there. We can move here. Move there. I guess there. It's kind of bad. We only have, um... We only have these guys. Um, let's see. Do we have expert anything? No, not really. We do have a lightning bolt. It's kind of interesting. Uh, let's try it on the other. Uh, I did a little bit of work. They're not going to be close enough for us to actually do anything. Ooh, we do have this. That's good. Let's start laying into you. There we go. Forgot about the uh, ballistas upgrade. That is going to be pretty good. That will actually carry the day where many of our other uh, endeavors would have been kind of fruitless. Okay, you're going to waddle forward. We're going to end you. I'm gonna waddle forward. I could probably kill you right now. I'm not going to though. Take you out, defend, and you're done. Alright, well that was easy enough. I was a little concerned, briefly, but turned out it was not really much of a cause for concern, we should say. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this up. And is there a way to get past here? Nope. Uh, can't get past the Alder, so we're gonna head back toward our town. We did visit that, yes we did. Excellent. Alright, it is time for the blacksmith over here. And did we do the Mage's Guild yet? I don't think so. And the Mage's Guild on this side. I would like to get a Citadel on both, but we'll see. The months of combat have prepared you for the battles to come. Looming on the eastern horizon are the Wall Peaks, a vast mountain range with your enemy guarding every pass. Not even Yarg had to battle his way through these mountains. So you're about to cut a path no other has tread. Cool. Or terrifying, depending on how you look at it, I suppose. Um, I'm a little curious as to what's out here. I don't really feel like going full on into battle just yet, but I wouldn't mind getting some extra experience and or gold just roaming around here. That's probably fine. What we're going to do is backtrack, probably get the next week's worth of troops, and then clear out some more areas around us. 
Should be okay. Um, oh, looks like we can get some gems from you as well. You are a pack of monks. Do not want to fight you guys yet. And I suppose you can just head on in, or we can head down with you. Let's see what's over here. It's an equally good idea. Alright, so we can go with the City Hall upgrade. It's going to be 5,000 monies. Pretty expensive, but it's going to net us some more money in the long run. So, taking care of our financial security early on is always a good call. Okay, let's see. It's going to be day seven. I think we're going to chill here for day seven. A quivering bush alerts you to the attack seconds before it happens. You alert your men just as the desperate bandits spring from the nearby shrubbery. Huh. That's actually a pretty sizable chunk of units that we're up against here. Interesting. Interestingly enough, I think it's going to be fine, but we'll see. Alright, something along those lines. We'll start combat. I believe we probably have what it takes to do some damage. 135, 110. Eh. Alright, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. We will lay into the 7, we will lay into the 20. We will absorb a little bit of hatred back, and they will be coming toward us with a lot of hatred in uh, their eyes. Alright, they're gonna definitely come forward and get wrecked. And as I stated, get re oh, oh, they survived that, okay. Expected the hobgoblins to bring a bit more to the table than they did. Kudos to them, I suppose. Let's go ahead and blast these guys in the face. Let's go after the guys in the back here. And now we go after the front guys. They're done. Uh, the two are down, and the ten should be down. And victory, four and four. Eh. Could have been better, could have been worse, considering we didn't know the battle was even going to take place. I'll take that as an overall win. Alright, now what we want to do is get the Citadel up and running on both fronts if we can. I believe we have the resources to do so. We have 80 stone. That's a lot of stone. What that's going to do is allow us to get more troops. Increases our uh, capacity by quite a bit each week. So the castle's always the big one that gives us the most troops that we can have, but, you know, the uh, Citadel's a big upgrade too. You stumble upon a small circle of colorful wagons camped beside a river. These are gypsies. They gladly mix with your troops laughing and singing and dancing. The gypsies even give you lunch. And an old woman reads your palm. When you finally part company with these folks, you and your men are in good spirits and continue humming some of the songs of the gypsies. Sweet. Yay for high spirits and stuff and junk. It's, it's fine. Alright, ooh, we got the badge of courage. Nice. Okay, well, as it stands, there's not much left for us to do with him. Alright, let's end the turn. Week one is in the books, folks. If you would like to recruit some more orcs, and we shall do so. We'll come over here. We'll come over here, get some more gabos. We'll come over here. Grab up that. We're going to go into the actual town to recruit something else beyond that. Looks like the Ogre Fort is going to be next up on our to-do list. And I'm curious, what do we need for the capital to be upgraded? We need the castle. Okay, that's what I thought. And on this front... I guess the Wyvern's Nest is not bad, so we should probably get that. And we're going to head actually up north to get this stuff done. You, on the other hand, are going to come here get the thousand out of that. We're going to come here grab up some more nobles. We will recruit all of those. And we'll return back down to our wonderful, wonderful town. Then on to you, good sir. What do we have over here? We have this, we have that I can't get. I can sneak around the backside to grab the gold, which is funny. And then we can get that, that, and possibly this. We're looking okay. The turn, let's, yeah, let's go up and take care of this. Take over the sulfur mine while we're up here. More gabos. Yes, I would like to slaughter them. 
What I probably should have done before we left was build the Cyclops den and grab those guys up. But that can wait for later. That can most assuredly wait till a later time. Alright, and with that, we can start this up with haste. Um, want to haste you. Want to smurder you. Let's smack and murder together. Smurder. Most people don't know that, so now they do. Go ahead and kill you off. Should have probably gone after this guy. He's going to get a shot off, which sucks. I did a lot more damage than I should have. And we ended up losing seven because of Bad Bumpy being bad. Now, had I moved the the birds over to deal with them right away, that would have been different. Oh, well. No accounting for bad play, I guess. The Gorgon's Lair. Guess we can leave you behind now. Um, let's go ahead and start recruiting everybody. I, I say this kind of apprehensively. Alright, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave some of the troops behind. The reason I don't want to go too crazy with the recruitment... Alright, the wyvern's the, the second to last. Um, is I don't want to spend all of our money. I want to be able to get a castle upgrade soon and then follow that up with an actual capital city upgrade. Yes, I wish to pursue them on to their deaths. We're just going to start combat. We're going to skip the tactics phase altogether. Let them come and give us hugs. Boom! And you're dead. Alright, so there we go. They never made it to the hug range, unfortunately. I know, I too am saddened by this. Alright, there we are. Is that the hut of the Magi? It is! Fantastically. And is that a thing that we can... No? Okay. Alright, we shall start to, to return. Let's go back over here. And the castle's 5,000. I guess we will spend the money to get that. And we will end our turn. You've taken to eating your meals alone in your tent, so you're a little or sorry, a little annoyed when your advisor and friend, Hardak, interrupts you. What's bothering you, my king? Is it the barbarian woman? Nothing, you say, although Hardak is right. You miss Yala even or even though you have had such a short time with her. Hardak doesn't press the issue, but when he leaves you regret having lied to him. Not only that, but you feel very alone. Again. Well, so be it that, I guess. Um, let's head on over a bit further. And let's take on the Serpent Flies. And this will probably be the last turn, guys and gals, before the end of the old episode. Start combat. That's not going to do much to us. In fact, it's going to do nothing to us because we killed you. It still did something, but not much. All right, and you're dead, and we're victorious. Yay, go us. All right. So over here, snag up that. Let's head down here, take on the Griffins. Once again, we'll start combat. There's no reason to postpone it any. I guess just waiting is really going to be the biggest play. Fairly sizable chunk of damage there. A defense. Medium damage. Is it enough? Probably not, knowing my luck. Nope, it was. Good. Come, face me, and die. Our birds are better than your birds, eh? Eh? Even though yours are like half bird, half all sorts of other weird creatures. Is it half bird, half... I forgot what the other animals are. It's usually half bird, half lion, maybe? Maybe that's what it is? A bird and a lion had a very bizarre child, and, well, that's what happens. Alright, the seer's hut. Maybe you can be of help to an old lady, eh? These days, I'm too weak to go traveling about looking for artifacts, but I'm not ready to retire just yet. If you can bring me the hourglass of the evil hour, I'll give you a little reward. Some gold, maybe? Eh? Eh? Well, thank you for that. Rewards are always appreciated. Don't really feel like fighting the Nagas just yet. Alright, we're heading back up toward our towny town. Let's take a look around here. I'd like to buy that, but I don't want to spend a lot of money right now, so what's the cheapest thing we can get? Uh, it's looking like it's going to be any of the upgrades or 
Well, the mess hall needs to be built. Let's build that. Then the Hall of Valhalla. The Hall of Valhalla. Yeah, the captain's quarters, why not? Alright, so there we go. We have spent out our money. We're going to end the turn, and we're going to break out the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next weekend with more. Possibly, depending on how quickly we move through this, possibly the conclusion of uh, this scenario, and then we'll move on to HOM 3 and play a little bit of that, and we're going to continue the HOM jumping for as long as we're alive. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get through all of the HOM series, guys, but we're going to attempt it. It's one of our endeavors. It's one of our great works that we're going to attempt. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.